So my oldest daughter, home from college, and she approached me, because I guess I'm an old person and I don't understand what's happening in the world, and maybe the videos that we make, Echo Charles and myself, maybe they're a little bit out of date in terms of the way they come across. So, have an open mind about this. I wanna help understand her perspective. I said, okay, cool. What idea do you have? Well, it turns out not even her idea, which is fine. Uh, 10 things that you can't live without, which already were done because there is not 10 things that I can't live without. It would have to be 10 things that you utilize on a regular basis. How's that? My daughter selected some things that I seem to have some sort of, well, some sort of sentimental attachment to. Okay, so yeah, so so this right here, good, good, I'm glad that you, you selected this. This is a chalk bag for working out. These are wristbands that keep the sweat off of my hands. And this is a little notebook. This is sort of my, this is my travel go bag for working out. And as long as you can find some kind of pull-up bar, you're good forever. I use this, I use, I'm, I, I am a big utilizer of chalk. When I go to gyms and there's a chalk not allowed sign. So I, I do play the guitar. I'm not very good, I'm trying to get better. When I got COVID and I wasn't allowed to go anywhere, I started learning all the notes on the fretboard, which I'd never done before. So yeah, I play guitar and I, I actually have a bunch of guitars. Do I prefer acoustic Which or electric? One would be the one that you can't live without? Let's face it, with an electric guitar, you can bring the thunder. And I have, the, my acoustic guitars are Taylors, made in El Cajon, California, and my electric guitars are Gibsons. I have two Gibson SGs. Favorite song to play? Any Black Sabbath. I had bands growing up. So when I was a kid, but I didn't play guitar in my bands because I wasn't skilled enough, and I played bass. I'm not saying bass is an easy skill, but you can learn how to play bass pretty quickly. Like ding, ding, ding. So I, I got relegated to the bass quite a bit, and I also sang vocals. But and I had a and we were always in some kind of hardcore band when I was a kid. So we had we were constantly playing, and we recorded like 17 songs, and then we just had this demo tape, which is what you did back in the day. You just made like demo tapes, and then you made well, we made T-shirts. We made more t-shirts than we made songs. <laughs> and the, the best one which we brought back from the dead was the, was the Bronson's Children. That was kind of the most epic name for the band, Bronson's Children, and it's a picture of Charles Bronson's head. And then in like little toddler writing underneath it says Bronson's Children. Yeah. Yeah, so this is About Face and I have something like 15 or 20 copies of About Face, the book by Colonel David Hackworth. But this particular copy right here in plastic, this is, this is what's called an advanced reader's copy. And so before a book comes out, the book, they release a, a number of them and they send them to the press or they send them to reviewers or publishing companies or whatever. So they're very rare, because they probably print like a hundred of them, maybe, maybe, maybe not even a hundred. So, and then people review that book and then they edit it down and then they publish the real book. And so I was at an event and a guy walked up to me and he said, hey, I have something for you and he gave me this. And I immediately knew what it was because I'd never seen this version before that looked like this. So I immediately knew it must be an advanced reader copy, and sure enough, this is a limited edition special advanced reader's copy, not for resale, uncorrected proof. And not only, so this is, this is as rare as you could possibly get for a version of this book. And on top of all of that, what's really amazing is it is actually signed by David Hackworth, who died in 2005. So pretty amazing and definitely something that I, keep in a well-protected place, because I'm, I'm really, uh, this book meant a lot to me and, and gave me a lot of great information as I grew up. What else? Right. Surfboards, yeah, I, I, I love to surf, and so I have a, 
I have a lot of surfboards. Probably, yeah, somewhere around 40 surfboards, and they're all, you know, when, when my wife says to me, oh, you should get rid of some of them, they're not the kind of boards that you can just say, oh, I'm gonna get rid of. I got a, a whole bunch that I inherited from my buddy Seth when he died. He already had these incredible boards, and the fact that, that he died and then I got all those boards means that they're not going anywhere. I'm gonna keep them. Well, first of all, there's no such thing as a normal day, you know, windsurfing. The waves are always different, and so that's why you have to have a nice quiver, and I have a nice quiver where I can select the right tool for the job. The waves have been really good lately, and I've ridden a different board almost every day, which is kind of crazy. So, um, I don't, I just, just have a bunch of, I'm really lucky to have some awesome boards. Gene Cooper, I got a Skip Fry, I got a John Hawley, I got a Josh Hall. Uh, a lot of them are, are by Gene Cooper, a lot of them. Seth and I were pretty into uh, Gene Cooper boards. So I got this metal water bottle. I had to modify it a little bit here, I'll put some 550 cord with a zip tie. I'm a creature of habit, and so before I had this water bottle, which my wife got for me because I think she was sick of me, what, what I used to use for a water bottle, which was an old Gatorade bottle that I recycled and just used over and over again for more than 10 years. I know, it's I, well, that's what apparently my wife thought it was gross too, so. But my wife got me this, and now I have this water bottle. And I've had this for, I don't know, I don't know how long I've had it, but it's been definitely quite a while. And yeah, I, you know, I use, I, I, I use this for working out, and then as you as you know, when, when I'm eating, like dinner, I have this. Lunch, I have this. Uh, going on a walk or whatever, going on a hike, I have this. So I, have, I use this all the time, so. Good water bottle, good thing to have. Well, these are some Oakley sunglasses, and uh, you know, when I got into the Navy, when I got into the Dames back in the day, the only glasses pretty much that you wore was Oakley's, and they were Oakley blades back then, which are the straight not straight 80s, late 80s, early 90s was that was kind of the deal. And I don't, you know, I don't like the bright light when it's sunny out, so I always have sunglasses with me. You use them for shooting, and you use them for just wearing around. And and then and then yeah. So there's this. Uh, I forget what you. Go, I think you just called it a string. What do they call? Them? What do they call these strings? These, these strings on your glasses are, were not authorized in the military. In the teams, we kind of got away with it, right? Wearing, having these things, but kind of also not. Some, some of the old school guys would be like, hey, you can't have those. But one of my chiefs once said, having glasses without a strap on them is like having a watch without a watch band. Mm, he knows what's up. Oakley was kind of radical with the, what they did, and so they made these kind of like, like radical, uh, almost look like bugs eyes. I was probably one of three people in the entire world that actually bought these and wore them. <laughs> so what's funny is when I, when, I was, when, I, when I just got out of the Navy, I didn't want to spend money on Oakleys, and I took a bunch of pictures with me, of me with Oakleys over the years, and I put it into a, into a little um, PowerPoint brief or something. And I sent it to Oakley with hopes that they'd say, oh yeah, we'll hook you up. And so I sent them this cool picture and there's like the, the mountains in one side and the, the ocean and the sun in the other one. And I sent them a bunch of pictures with me of Oakley's on, on deployment, on patrol, just the kind of things to show, hey, I've, you know, I've been representing with the Oakley's. And I would always have them, like here, you know, there's the string around my neck. But I always have my Oakley's with me. Heartless response, nothing. I got nothing from them, which is a bummer. Yeah, uh, the the classic floppy hat, and actually, I still have the original floppy hat that I got issued when I got to SEAL Team One. And this is sort of, you know, if you've ever heard me talk about the fact that we're going to Nam in 1991, I thought I was going to Nam. Having a floppy hat, you know, you kind of felt like you were going to Nam. And I, I still have my this one's obviously desert, which I got issued later, but I still have the original one. I should have given it to you, but. Uh, yeah, you know, you're always representing that, that floppy hat, thinking you're cool, you know, flip-flops. They're not the best shoes for pursuit or for running after or in like an emergency scenario, but <laughs> when you live in SoCal, it sort of is just, I, I don't know, I, I wear flip-flops all the time. And I think it has a lot to do with jiu-jitsu because when you do jiu-jitsu, you get on the mat, you know, you got your flip-flops on, you take them off. Obviously, if I'm going somewhere where I know that a scenario could unfold, hey, you don't know what kind of scenario could unfold. 
Pat Mac is sternly against flip flops because he's ripped. Action. Pat Mac, can you cut me a little slack on the flip flops, please? Bro. Well, you got to be able to cut your hair, so yeah, the at home clipper set. For those people that are wondering, uh, it's a wall clipper set. This is my second one that I've had in about 30 years. My first set of walls lasted me like 25 years. 0.5 on the sides, 1.5 on top. That's the haircut. It's so liberating when you can cut your own hair and you don't have to worry about going to a barber and waiting in line and paying. Like these things cost 40 bucks or something. That's one haircut. I'd probably give thousands of my own haircuts. So yeah, no factor. All right. My wife, my wife, Helen. Mm -hmm. She's been hanging out with me. She's been She's been hanging out with me for a long time, and it, I was, I'm not the easiest person to hang out with. And she has uh, just been awesome. And, you know, I did a bunch of deployments when she was raising new kids and doing all that stuff. And she was visiting my wounded guys in the hospital and going to funerals, and she did all that. and still kept taking care of you all and raising a bunch of kids, so uh, I owe her big time. I was on a ship at the time, on a shipboard deployment with a SEAL platoon, and we barely got off the ship on that whole deployment. And we finally were going to a place called Bahrain. And we didn't really know what Bahrain was back. This is back in the day. It was kind of a, it was kind of like the Las Vegas at the time. It was like the Las Vegas of the Middle East and there was bars and restaurants and it was kind of a little bit crazy. They had like beer for us when we landed. <laughs> They're like, you guys. So anyways, we loaded up and we went out and that's where I met. That's where I met your mom. The first thing I said to her, well, it wasn't a Jim Carrey line. You know, on a ship as a SEAL and there was no internet on the ship. So every day, we would just work out, work out, work out, watch movies, play spades, work out, watch more movies. And you only, we only had a certain number of movies because they were on VHS cassette tapes. Do you know what that is? So they were on VHS cassette tapes. So one of the movies that we were watching at that time was Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. And so I walked up to her and I said, should I just call you Aphrodite's goddess of love? And of course, she thought I was an idiot, and the rest is history. So there you go. Ten things. What did I say? Ten things that I utilize on a regular basis, and I guess my wife falls into the category of maybe I can't live without her. All right, well, there you go. At my daughter's request, things that I utilize on a regular basis. Let her know if you, you know, want to see some other weird video that's more modern than what Echo Charles thinks of. Out.